Lance of Loyalty, one of the very few strength weapons in the game only usable by warlords, not only needing massive strength to wield, but also requiring plenty of weapon experience to use, allowing you to commit massive damage and very large skills to have massive unavoidable AoEs. Today I'm not only going to show you guys how to obtain the Lance of Loyalty, but also give you guys a showcase on it. Starting off with the location, so if you want to obtain strength weapons at all, you have to run to Fort Talos, and once you're at Fort Talos, you can enter any way you want to, but I enter through the secret tunnel. Now once you go through the secret tunnel, you're going to want to go out the crack and then head to the left and just follow me. This is a part of the strength weapons, and strength weapons are only usable by warlords, meaning if you're a warrior or if you're a berserker, you cannot use these weapons. You have to put skills into both strength and weapons. Now this is one of the many drops you can get from General Argos, who is the main boss in Fort Talos. You can also get the halberd here as well. But let it be known that these drop chances are pretty low, and it did take me a while to get this lance. And I've yet to get the other strength weapon too. But now that you guys know how to get it, let's get to business. The Lance of Loyalty consists of two skill moves as of now. But if we hover over the Lance of Loyalty, as we can see, that you can also get three other ones down in the future that aren't attainable as of now. So first I'm going to show you guys the stats. Now I have a pretty high level uh, Lance of Loyalty, so I don't know if that makes the damage or attack size or speed faster. But the base damage is 25. The attack size is 1.3 and the speed is 0.5. Now comparing this to the Vindicator, which is a rare weapon, basically a heavy weapon, this also has 25 base damage and 0.5 speed, but the attack size is smaller. Basically off the bat making the Lance of Loyalty just a more superior weapon. Now I'm going to show you guys the M1 combat real quick. It's fairly slow and it's doing a jab movement. And now I'll show you guys the shining cycle. Basically this keeps you staying still and it does a sh like a cycle around your character, like so. And it seems to do like damage or have an after effect to it as well. And the cooldown's pretty fast as well. Next for piercing strikes. This one quickly does a thrusting movement towards the enemy and just procs when it hits them. But for some reason it's really slow. And so I think for it to go fast, you have to be aiming or near someone. So like, look, it should be going fast, but it's just, it just goes really slow. So, you know, that's that, that's that. But just like every other weapon in the game, it doesn't have that many skills to it as of now, but the damage is really, really solid. Same as with the attack speed and the attack size. And it does have a really good AOE move being the shining cycle. And then a decent ranged move, the piercing strikes. Now as a warlord, you would usually use between one or two weapons. So like switching back and forward to use different types of skills for each weapon. So I would definitely recommend you comboing this with another strength weapon, aka probably the halberd. As the halberd also has really good AOE moves and they really do get the job done together. Now another bonus that makes the weapon just a better on its own is if you have your awakening in your warlord you can combine your fighting style with your weapon so if i turn the thermo fist on for this it makes every attack i do have an AO like have an aoe so like around this whole circle it literally does damage to anyone around me in the circle whenever i like m1 but if this helped you guys at all or you enjoyed the video i wouldn't mind a like or even a sub we'll say 8k subs and i'd really appreciate the support but if you guys would also like to see more strength weapon content let me do it down in the comment section below and if i should do a showcase on all the strength weapons once i get them but anyways that's gonna be it for me for now i'll see you guys in the next video peace